Hey guys, today we're talking about this crazy 1970s vintage Univox amp. It is a Stage 400, and actually right over here, it should have a Stage logo. It should actually say the word Stage. Strangely, nowhere on the front of the amp did it actually say Univox, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, <clears throat> I got this at Goodwill, just about 100 bucks, and you know... It's crazy because, like, I see the 2x10s of this same amp. You know, you can find the 2x10s relatively often, but you can never find the 1x12s. And that's what this is. It's a 1x12. So, it was pretty cool. A vintage Univox. Now, uh, it's built by Westbury. And what's going to be important about that is, uh, uh, actually, it relates to a project I got coming up. So, I'll show you that. Westbury, New York. Um, it's got... A pretty unique feature it says pull HB which I assume means pull if you have a humbucker but it gets much louder when you pull that knob it has a clip feature which some of the knobs on this one are kind of dirty so we'll clean it up and make another video later on but the clip is interesting because I, I don't know if mine is working right it keeps the clean attack but it clips the signal let me show you what I'm talking about. I start hearing it come in. And it's still clean, but it has a surprisingly decent uh, vintage kind of uh, fuzz, like clipping to it. It's weird. It's almost a little broken sounding. And it could be broken. I got it at Goodwill. I don't know. I've never played one of these amps before. But, uh, so far, I really like the thing. The cleans sound great. And it just has the most lush reverb. Like, I think I have it on three right now. Hear that? So if I put it up on six... Go full bore with it. <laughs> it's pretty cool, and it's got a master volume, which is always a uh, a good thing right now I have it pretty low it's pretty late at night I really want to crank it up but I can't do that because people are sleeping but that clip feature is very interesting to me and there's a switch for it on the back or I think it's a switch there's a port like a quarter inch port for the clip feature I don't know what that is but all of these uh, potentiometers in this amp need to be cleaned pretty bad Other than that, it's just got a bass and treble knob. Yeah, it has a volume with a pull humbucker, 
switch or HB. If it means something else, let me know. Okay. Uh, it has a clipping knob, which sort of just stacks on top of the clean. Instead of going one way or the other, clean to distortion, it keeps both. And bass, treble, reverb, master. And you know, these things go for like 300, 400 bucks uh, when they're in good shape. And this one's in good shape other than it's missing the badges. So it's missing where it should say stage and it's missing where it should say 112. Can never find those, guarantee you. So maybe I'll try to make some for it. I, can, I think I'm gonna keep this amp because I like it, but I wanna tweak it and figure out how to do that, uh, separate the clip from the volume if possible. I don't know if it's possible. So this was made by Univox, and Univox made a ton of amplifiers in the 70s, and this one is one of the rarest, is the rarest 400 combo you can get. But there are, are a ton of them, so there's no shortage of Univox amps, just this particular one is hard to find. Um, I think I may, once I crank it up, I'll decide, but I may replace the speaker and keep the speakers of ever sell the amp I'll have the original speaker I don't know but anyway so Westbury New York what's special about that let me show you check out this Westbury case what could be inside well a couple of months ago on reverb I saw this guitar come up for sale and uh, I thought hey that's an awesome vintage guitar and It's awesome, it's awesome to me. And it came with this nice case, which is for this guitar. So look at this thing. This is a vintage Westbury standard, I think. Yeah, vintage Westbury standard. This was a project a guy had up. And you can see how projecty it is. The back of this neck, for crying out loud. So I thought... This would be a fun project for us. Um, I have collected some really good parts throughout my tenure. And I actually have, if you look close, this is not the bridge this guitar would have come with because this is a vintage uh, Lesbury guitar. It would have had, you know, here's a, it's got a post fill. So this would have had like a two post Les Paul style bridge. But it's been routed out for a collar. So I have happen to have a collar that will fit that. I happen to have uh, I think a jazz neck and a Duncan 59 distortion I think for the anyway I got some really good Seymour Duncan uh, Les Paul looking pickups and I actually have a set of Gibson deluxe tuners that I think would look good on this thing. Yeah look so on the back it's probably hard to see on the back there's a sticker that says Unicord on the back of this amp it says Unicord. In front of this guitar it says Westbury. The back of this amp it says Westbury. And uh, it wasn't soon uh, after these amps were released in the 80s, uh, Univox Unicord became Westbury. So pretty neat. So I, I got this amp, like I said, from Goodwill. I got it in today. And I thought how cool would it be to do this project vintage Westbury guitar which we'll talk more about soon. I got too many other projects right now, but we'll get to this. Um, how cool would it be to do this vintage Westbury guitar through basically a vintage Westbury amp? So, all right. I just wanted to drop that on you. I thought you guys would think this stuff's kind of cool. If you know anything about these amps or if that circuit sounds wrong to you, if you're an amp guy, let me know. I really want to get this thing running at peak performance. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time, and I'm going to put this in, back into the closet of sadness the closet of projects that aren't done yet we've all got one look at this nice cave <laughs> alright I'll see you guys next time thanks for watching